Hello all, welcome to my channel. Now in this video, I will show you how to solve an error of ADB is not recognized as an internal or external command. So for example, suppose if you write over here, that is ADB and suppose if you press enter, you will get an error. The error is like what? ADB is not recognized as an internal or external command. So if you are getting this kind of error, then make sure that there are three things you need to make sure. The first, make sure that you have installed the emulator, either the Android emulator or Motion emulator. So I have Motion emulator, even I have the Android emulator also. The second, make sure that you are running the ADB from the full path. For example, this ADB is not available at this path, that is C drive user parag. So I just need to move to that particular path where my ADB is located. So you need to move to the path if you are using Motion emulator, then you can move to the path CD, C drive program files. Then you can move to Motion, and here you will get the path of tools. Just move to that particular directory and now you can write ADB and you will get that the ADB is now recognized command. And here you will be able to see that ADB and you can pass so many things. You can install the application, you can post the file, and even uh, you will be able to see the debugging option. So you can do so many things using ADB. So ADB is now my working command. So what I need to do, I just need to run this ADB from the path where it is available. That is the second option. But if you close this, and if you reopen your CMD prompt again, and if you write ADB again, then you will get an error that ADB is not recognized as internal or external command. So how to resolve this? So very simple, you just need to set the path of your ADB into environment variable. So what you need to do, you just need to go to Windows Explorer, just go to the C drive, program files, Genie Mobile, Genie Motion, tools here adb.exe is available just copy this particular path and just right click on this pc properties here you can click on advanced system setting environment variable just go to the path edit and here you can take the new path just paste it and you can click on ok 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 now just open command prompt again and you can write over here adb it will work so you can set the adb path over here also another way is you can make sure that if you are using any android emulator or if you are using any android sdk then you can move to the path that is a cd c drive users parag so this is my username. Then you can move to the app data is the folder. Then you can move to the local Android SDK. And here platform tools is available. Now here you can just write ADB and see here adb.exe is available. So this is also the path if you are using Android emulator, then ADB is available at this path. And if you are using Genie Motion, then ADB is available in the Genie Mobile, Genie Motion tools path. You can set any of this path into your environment variable and your ADB will work properly. Here also if you press enter, it will work. Now here if you write here ADB devices, then you will get the list of the device which is attached with the ADB. So here you can see that this is my Android emulator which is available over here. So this is the way you can solve an error of ADB is not recognized as internal or external command. So that's it from my side. If you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.